In this course, I'll teach you the basics of the programming language designed for kids, Logo. Logo is based on a feature called, Turtle Graphics. Turtle graphics are a simple and a powerful set of commands used to manipulate a turtle, and by the way, it's called a turtle because the first ever version of Logo used an electronic robot that resembled a turtle. The turtle's main role is to draw lines. Turtle graphics fill the gap that traditional programming languages do not. That is, it gives immediate feedback, immediate feedback makes it fun and easier to learn programming as students can immediately see the results, line by line. The purpose of Logo is to teach young and old how to program. The language was originally modeled after a very popular and powerful programming language called Lisp. It is as powerful as any other programming language. This language also helps students with geometry even without them noticing they're learning it. We'll start by drawing one of the most basic shapes, a square. To do this, we'll start by moving the turtle forwards by 100 units. To do this, type forward, followed by a space, then the number of units you want the turtle to move by. Let's say, 100 units. After that, click enter. The turtle now has drawn a 100 unit line which would make the first side of the square. Note that, in logo, most commands have abbreviations that can be used instead of the full command in order to save time. For example, the letters FD, can be used as an abbreviation for the command, forwards. Now, we want to turn the turtle by 90 degrees so that it faces the right side of the screen. To do this, type, RT90, which stands for right turn, followed by the number of degrees you want that turn. Click enter, the turtle is now facing the right side of the screen, type in FD100 to draw the second side of the square, then another RT90 so that the turtle is facing the lower side of the screen. After that, another FD100, followed by another root 90. Then another FD100 to draw the fourth and the final side of the square. Notice that, we have repeated the same set of commands over and over. In this case, we repeated the same set, four times. In other cases, you may want to repeat the set of commands, tens, or even hundreds of times. Using this approach will not be possible in such cases as it will take a really long time. To solve this problem, we may want to use the repeat command. This command, repeats a set of commands for a set number of times defined by the user. Before trying this out, we may want to clear the screen so that we can draw on a blank space, to do this, we'll use the cs command which clears the screen, type in, cs, then click enter. Notice that the screen has been cleared, and that the turtle is now in its default starting position and angle, which is facing the upper side of the screen, now. We want to try out the repeat command. To do this, type in repeat, followed by the number of times you want to repeat this shape for, in this case, four times, open square brackets. Commands to be repeated should be inserted between these two brackets, so start typing, FD100, RT90, after that, click enter. The full square has been drawn using only one command rather than many, there is a way to carry out these steps even faster, by writing a procedure. To do this, type in the command box, edit, quotation mark, then square, the editor should now pop up, the editor should now have two written lines, to square, and end. If you want to change the name of th procedure, you can change whatever text is written after two, the commands we want this procedure to carry out should be entered between two. The name of the procedure, and end, in this case, enter the command, repeat for fd100, root 90, then close the editor box, 
then click yes, to save the changes we have just done to the procedure. Now, we want to test this procedure, we can do this by typing its name then click enter, type in square, enter. Now a square has been drawn just by typing out its name, this can be done to all the shapes you might want to do a lot of times to save time and effort. And also so that you don't have to remember all the command combinations used to draw all the shapes. Now, let's try repeating this process in order to draw a triangle. First of all, type in, CS to clear the screen. To draw a triangle, type in FD100, to move the turtle by 100 units. You should be familiar with this by now, RT120. Another FD100 and root 120 then FD100, now to do this with the repeat command. Repeat, 3 square brackets, FD, 100, RT, 120. Then to write a procedure, type in, edit, quotation mark, triangle. Note that that you can name it anything you want, you can even call a procedure that draws a hexagon, circle. This is completely possible and will not give errors. But you should give them sensible names as you may forget what each of them does. The editor box is now open. Type in the command used to make a triangle. Repeat, 3 square brackets, FD, 100, RT, 120. Then close, and click yes to save. Now, let's try it out by typing in triangle. The triangle has been drawn. Type in CS to remove all drawings. Another useful command we may want to use, is the hide turtle command, or, HT. First of all, to hide the turtle, you type in HT, which stands for, hide turtle. Click enter. Now you can see that the turtle is no longer visible. This is helpful whenever you want to see a full drawn shape without the turtle covering any part of it. Note that the turtle can still draw while hidden. To test this, type in FD100 to move the turtle forwards by 100 units. You should see that the 100 unit line has been drawn and the turtle is still hidden. To make the turtle unhidden, type in ST which stands for, show turtle, you should see that the turtle is now in the new position. The position we previously moved it to. There is also the CT command, which stands for, clear text, this command erases all the history in the command box. This is useful when you want to start working in a clean environment. You can use the CS and CT command together. Try it out yourself, type in, CS, followed by a CT, this should clear both the screen and the command box history. You can also click on the reset button, which is on the right side of the command box. This resets everything you've done so far, hence the name. Another important commands you should know, are the backwards and left turn command. The backwards command work exactly like the forwards command, but backwards, the abbreviation for it is, BK. It is then followed by the number of units. Try it out. BK100. The left turn common, LT, for short, also works the same way as the right turn command, but to the left. Try it out, LT90. In the end, you may want to save your work so that you can return back to it later. This can be done by typing in, save, a single quotation mark, then the name you want to save it with then, .lgo which is the format used by MSW logo. Now, you may want to close the MSW logo windows through the command box. You can do this by typing in, by, click enter. 
This concludes the first part of the MSW logo course. For any video suggestions, or improvements, please comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.